Time for entertainment and Miss G is here. Hello, Miss G. Hello, Israel. How are you doing? I'm well, how about you? I'm very well. Do you know what this jacket is called? Do you have any idea? I don't. It's called boyfriend jacket. What's that supposed to mean? I wonder myself. That's what we were told it's called. Boyfriend jacket. So is it that your boyfriend gave it to you? No, it doesn't have to be that. But why would they call it boyfriend jacket? I don't know. You should ask the people who, you know, name clothing. Why do they call a boyfriend jacket? Maybe because your boyfriend can hide in this jacket. Can oh. you see my boyfriend there? Okay. Can you see my boyfriend there? You can't see him. So let's talk about... <laughs> you know, yesterday we started a conversation about Akusia Japan asking ladies to cover up. Yeah. And then there was a conversation about she needing or she needs to start from, from home. home. Now, she's been dancing. reacting to, you know, that you know call she says yes she's tried several times to call her sister to order but it's not working she won't relent although she's not happy she still needs to caution some other people somebody who just jumped the jack was there my sister is stephanie and stephanie is my white guy i always tell her that my sister if you're in london and you're dressing that way it good but when you come to ghana it should be different because Ghanaians, we, we were brought up in a different way in the sense that the way we will dress tells who you are so my campaign is i want to go around the school talk about relationship talk about it i, I mean how wrong it, it is go naked you don't have to expose your body or anything before you somebody tell that you're beautiful yeah beautiful sounds a very nice initiative but like you said your sister is stephanie many have limited the conversation to her you've given given a caveat that she's married to a white would that be a reason why some young ladies can go free and say i also didn't grow up here no 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 i'm always on my sister's neck and i i, I said earlier on that when she when she comes down she should dress a way that i will be happy but but, but we see her dress all there, the time and people uh, are complaining i know mm -hmm. i know and i'm still on her and the, and the, the other time we even had a hot idea argument on phone serious argument because i told her that at the end of the day if you are happy with the way you dress your sister is not happy but look at some of the way the girls go nude i've not seen my sister go nude like like her nakedness like going naked without a dress so would you say that if people dress the way your sister dress uh, it's okay so far as they've not gone nude See, mm. i said i'm always on her neck telling her that if she can dress that way out there she cannot dress that way here and because i always hate the back of those that dress that way i'll never leave my sister out I saw one of her um, pictures of the show base. I, 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 I was not in town that time. The time she you know, was at work night and she wore, and she wore that dress. And it came in the paper. I called her. And I mean, the argument was something else. But you see, I am not happy. But I wouldn't say that because my sister doesn't say I'm not going to talk about it. I still have to talk about it. Because there are younger ones coming up. What was her reaction when you do? Because I spoke to her. You know, you know, sometimes when she dresses good and it's a normal dress, she'll call me. Ah, wait, they will wear So I can't want. And I said, Aunt, who did you send me? I think that it's going to make your work difficult in preaching to the young ladies it's not going to be difficult go start from your home what would you say to people like yes, that I will, I will start from my home and the person that sent that message should also know better that it's because of soft for and into soft for preaching you understand so the person said that yes i started from my home well, i wouldn't sit back and allow the younger ones going naked because they are telling me to start from my home hmm. i started from my home and it's, it's going to work for my home but when i see a younger one going naked i have every right to talk about it as well all right, so we'll see how that pans out. I'm sure this will be qu a question that she would have to answer every now and then yeah. when she starts this campaign. But we wish her well. So let's talk about Miss Universe Ghana. And you know that wife of footballer Sule Muntari was a former beauty queen. She was a former Miss uh, Universe Ghana contestant. And she was a winner, actually, uh, back in the day. And now she's putting together some ladies to represent... Uh, Miss Universe here in Ghana. So here's what happened at the launch. The 2017 edition of the Miss Universe Ghana pageant show has been launched. Mina Edonko, wife of ex-Black Star player Sule Mutari, who is spearheading this year's Miss Universe Ghana, is of the strong conviction that any of the 10 finalists is ready to represent Ghana at the global event. And as a beauty queen herself, her brand is going to give the pageant show that touch it needs. As it stands now, we don't know who is winning. No. Are any of them ready to represent Ghana? I think so. You think so? Yes. There, there were 120 applicants that we got so I mean it's it's been a lot of work for us to come um, to get this 10 contestants so we've done a lot of work and we prepared them 
obviously for the um, pageant um, which is held September 2nd at the Labadi Beach Hotel. Come Saturday, what is going to be different about this year's Miss Universe Ghana? The whole idea of me coming on board is to rebrand the organization and I'm so proud because as a former beauty queen myself, I know what it takes. I know what can be done to bring back the excitement, you know. And I think for September 2nd, what it is, is it's not just a pageant. It's a bunch of, you know, um, people, like personalities, um, influencers, um, the elites of Ghana to come together to see what we can do as a country. It's a pageant, but it's also a seated dinner, which is something different. Um, it's entertaining. I think like the, the most important thing that we need to look forward to is entertaining. The 10 finalists were grateful of what the preparation for the grand finale has transformed them to be. Okay, so personally, I'm a girl, but I didn't have confidence enough in myself. So being a part of this whole thing has actually boosted my confidence, how to talk in public, how to be related to others around me. Um, I really didn't have any expectations. I was just hoping for the best because as an individual, I needed a challenge to challenge myself, get out of my comfort zone and learn new things. And Miss Universe Ghana has given me that. Yeah, it's brought out that person that I needed to be, that beautiful, confident woman. Yeah, and I think that it portrayed to other women out there to show that yes you can do anything if you put yourself to it so me being here is by the grace of god and by me pushing myself to come here and now we are at the miss Beast universe ghana will be held at the labadi beach hotel on, on, on saturday the 2nd of Beast september hotel. 2017. All right, so uh, let's talk about what everyone else is talking about, KJTR versus Mokola. Oh, yeah. They're this thing. You all know, they're this thing. <laughs> you know, earlier today, they were on the pulse with Giti. I know you showed excerpts of that already, but everybody keeps wondering why, you know, lawyer and team, or I, I hardly can pronounce that name. You, it's a long one. Yes, uh, you know, plays that role. What the concept? Why does he always wear gloves? And he tells Giti some more. The character. So when you're acting, your basic uh, task as an actor is to create believable roles, right. characters, and uh, fill them and portray them. Okay. And so uh, this is the character. We everybody knows Lyanti as uh, somebody who doesn't know anything, but he believes he knows everything. Right. And so, and his R and L is you know. Yeah. So uh, when I come to stand there and I'm acting. I know I'm acting. I know it's not me. It's, it's the character. So everything I'm doing has to complement the character that we've created for. The I role. see. When we were deciding for this character, I felt that we felt that it should be somebody who is different from the typical Ghana lawyer, the the the, the Makola lawyers. I see. And so we needed something a bit more. So colorful costumes, shirts, and then the gloves, uh, which uh, you know. Ask something. So the, the moment you see him, you are thinking that who is this? Which lawyer wears gloves? Gloss. You know, is he a doctor? Which kind of lawyer is that? Honor, this man, this man, they don't like my crime. Okay. Maybe my crime have take their girlfriend or something. <laughs> I don't know. But this man, this man, they don't like my crime. All right. That's why they say that even when they come to say that. My can't tell the church people that, please, All right. we are doing work of God. Some people say that the noise is too much, so please. So he forced that, this thing, even the amplified they use, the man bring it down, like that, small down. Thank so you. So even, but stay. The way you have said that, I don't like it. Tell me that I have wing. <laughs> so that this man knows that I have wing. And my can't have also wing. All right. With all that I've gathered so far, mm -hmm. it is an honor to tell you that today you've won. Hey, yay! I have win all. All right, so this court is adjourned. And there was jubilation all over social media last Sunday I mean, when he won. Are, yeah, people the are case. being really excited. I'm mean, very, for, very for excited, you know, for once, you know, after going to prison and his back winning a case. But. The Joel Esting uh, case, you know, is not dying anytime soon because people have criticized him for not opening his church. Now, uh, I he know eventually that, opened. Yes, the church. I know the rapper T.I. was part of the people who criticized him. So here's Joel Esting telling us that he actually opened from when the 
what is it called? The heavy uh, the, the, the the hurricane have you started? Yeah. Yes. Church, our church doors have always been open. In fact, we, we took people in right when the water started to recede, which was just a, a day or two after the big storm hit. But we work very closely with the city. Four miles down the road, the city established its biggest shelter with, you know, with room for thousands, with, uh, with beds, with kitchen supplies, with everything they need, security. They didn't need us as a shelter right then. And we coordinate with them all the time. If we needed to be a shelter, we would have certainly been a shelter right when they, right when they first asked. But once they filled up, never dreaming we'd have this many displaced people, they asked us to become a shelter. And we said, hey, we'd love to be a shelter. That's what Lakewood is all about. But I think this notion that somehow we would turn people away or we weren't here for the city is, is about as false as can be. Well, I hope that they receive this one in good faith. But a lot of celebrities have uh, contributed their quota after, you know, the challenge was thrown to them by Kevin Hart. Right. I know the likes of T.I., um, Chris Brown, and some others have responded to it. Even DJ Khaled okay. has donated $25,000. So a lot of them are donating to When this. are you sending your donation? Um, how much do they need? They should just let me know. Stephen Harvey, you know, Steve Harvey just needs to call, or Kevin Hart just needs to call my name. And then I'll send my donation through. Is that what you're waiting for before That's you all I'm it? waiting for. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. G. And uh, <laughs> the Louisiana now will be waiting for your donation. Oh, that, I... That's it for entertainment. <laughs>